Hi, my name is Noelle Brown, and I'm the Executive Director of Casa Guadalupe Education Center, which is a nonprofit organization here in West Bend. Our mission is to be the bridge of integration to Hispanics and to the communities in which they live through education. So we serve a lot of people in the community in Washington County and surrounding counties north of Milwaukee and Waukesha County. Um, the way that we do that is through specific literacy programs. It's what we really emphasize on. Uh, one of our programs is adult literacy. So we do have some classes uh, going on right now um, that focus on English language learning uh, for adults in the community. We have two classes happening here at our location in West Bend and two at the Jack Russell Memorial uh, Library in Hartford. Um, so it's just a great opportunity to get people together and increase those skills um, just to really uh, help assimilate better into our community um, and there's just so many benefits that our residents who are taking the classes can get from these classes. Um, we also have a focus on childhood literacy as well. Uh, we're doing that through our Read to Succeed program, which takes place a couple times a week in collaboration with Green Tree Elementary School in West Bend. And that um, focuses on helping kids with their reading comprehension in English and also uh, with other school subjects. So we have volunteers meet with the kids one-on-one -on -one and it's just a really um, a great opportunity uh, to reach out to these kids and just help them succeed more um, in their schoolwork. We also are just started a Latino Health Outreach Project this year in 2013. The goal of that is to increase knowledge of health literacy among the Latino residents uh, that are here in the Washington County area. We're partnering with uh, many different healthcare agencies and providers in the area as well. Um, just working together to make sure that these residents are getting the best uh, healthcare possible and also increasing their knowledge and educating on different health topics. Um, so we're excited to move forward with that as well. Um, this summer, we're excited to start uh, some new programs for kids, including a summer Spanish program here at our facility. So we'll be teaching kids basic Spanish. And we're also going to be doing um, a reading program, a summer reading program in collaboration with 4-H. Um, so uh, lots of great things happening here at Casa Guadalupe. Uh, one thing that I'm really here to tell everyone about is our first ever um, of its kind event called Fiesta Latina. It's going to be a Latin American cultural celebration and will also serve as CASA's fundraiser. It's going to be on Sunday, May 19th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Regner Park here in West Bend. Um, it's off of Main Street and Park Avenue. It's going to be by the Silver Lining Stage and the other pavilions as well that have coverings and picnic tables. So we're really excited to have this day uh, where the entire community is invited to come out because the admission is free. So that's a great thing that we're able to provide. Um, we're gonna have a lot of different activities happening um, between 11 a.m. 6 p.m. There is going to be Latin American food provided by a couple restaurants in town. Uh, La Mexicana, which is a grocery store here in West Bend, and also El Tapatio de Jaliscos, which has um, a really a great following in the West Bend area as far as Mexican cuisine. So we're very happy to have them participate in Fiesta Latina. We're also going to have drinks provided through Jeff Spirits on Main in West Bend. And we're gonna be providing different types of Latin American beer and wine along with soda and water. Um, throughout the day, the different entertainment will be from 11 a.m. to noon. We're going to have a Spanish mass for any residents who want to attend that since it is going to be on a Sunday. And then after the Spanish mass, um, starting at noon, We'll be having some people um, sing some songs in Spanish, including myself, um, so I'm excited to do that. And uh, also um, performances by Santos Vasquez, um, who is a community member, uh, so he'll be singing with me. And then after that, we're going to have Ballet Folklorico, Mexico in La Piel. It's a dance group uh, that's local to the community and um, traditional uh, Mexican folklore dancing uh, that will be performed at one o'clock. Um, after that, we're going to have Zumba, and this is an opportunity for everyone who enjoys Zumba or just likes to dance and exercise to um, participate and have fun with that. 
Uh, we're also going to be having a jalapeno eating contest, so there's going to be a sign up there. Best of luck to anyone who's participating in that. That should be a fun thing to watch. And then after that, we're going to have Latin dance demonstrations by a dance group called Shut Up and Dance, which is uh, located in Fond du Lac. And um, after that, we're going to be having a mariachi band called Mariachi La Union from uh, Milwaukee come up and perform for us until the end of our event at, uh, that ends at 6 o'clock. It will be uh, broken up by a raffle drawing. There will be raffle tickets being sold before and during the event with a lot of great prizes um, that could be up uh, to win, including a three-month pass to the YMCA, uh, tickets to Mount Olympus uh, Water Park in uh, the Wisconsin Dells, um, different sporting events tickets, and also um, discounts or coupons at different restaurants in the area, uh, a gardening basket from landscapes, um, an actual shade tree for your yard is going to be uh, raffled off through a Heritage Hill Nursery. And there's so much more. Uh, we will be updating that on our website soon so people can see what the prizes will be. Our website is www dot casa guadalupe online dot org so again that's www dot casa guadalupe online dot org we also have more information about our event on our website uh, including the list of events um, i'll also mention that from 1 to 3 p.m st joseph's hospital in west bend through freighter health is going to be providing free blood pressure screening so there will be a sign up for that Casa Guadalupe will have a booth letting people know about more about our organization and we're also going to be having um, an immigration law attorney who will be there as well uh, through Gilgannon Law. Um, Stuart Gilgannon is on our board and so we're excited uh, to have him there to provide information to those who are interested as well. Um, we'll be having kids activities and games throughout the day too so this is definitely a family event. Uh, we're excited to invite everybody out because again it is free admission in the park. Um, so Sunday, May 19th from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fiesta Latina. You'll probably be seeing flyers and posters uh, posted around Washington County letting everyone know about the event. Um, but I'm really excited for this. I'm hoping that many families and community members uh, can come to the event and just have a really good time um, and learn more about Casa Guadalupe in the process and what we do for our community as a whole. So we'll see you then. Nos vemos pronto. Thank you very much.